Well, the Federal Communications Commission approved new rules for governing airwaves. The new rules will expand access for cell phone users. The rules pave the way for a federal auction of airwaves that could bring in more than $15 billion. Google has already offered $4.6 billion to buy part of the spectrum. So, David Spark, make some sense out of all of this for us. <laughs> all right. Uh, it is very confusing, so uh, don't feel bad if you're confused by it. Um, What's happened is there's a spectrum that's now been available as uh, television stations are going to digital. And this, it's really, really good quality spectrum that everybody wants. And what Google has come in and tried to do is say, can we make this spectrum kind of like the Internet, like really, really open that anybody th can participate in it? And the FCC said, uh, we can kind of do it. We'll kind of halfway go there. And essentially their kind of way of doing it is we're going to be kind of like Europe which means you can buy an unlocked uh, phone or, and use it on any carrier uh, that you want, which is not the case now. So if you buy a Verizon phone now and you want to switch to Sprint, you got to dump that Verizon phone and buy a new Sprint phone. And that, that becomes, that is what they're offering instead of this sort of ubiquitous world that Google mm -hmm. had, was hoping for. I think the first part of it when it says the, governor's gonna, the government is going to sell off the airways, for my generation, there was always the illusion that these airways belong to the American public uh, uh, and, and no, that people the, be, you know, <laughs> own them. And there were lots of demands made with those kinds of words being used in front of them. Well, Obviously, you're saying that's not Well, exactly no. Well, the, the, the original, uh, the, originally this specific uh, channel, the 700 megahertz channel, was owned by the television station. So it was at the localities. Now what's happening is the enormous telcos are going to come and buy them. And they own a lot of spectrum out there. And spectrum is finite. And so... It is believed this might be the last good piece of spectrum to take, and they want to take as much as they want. Will they actually use it? They may actually just warehouse it and not let anyone else have it. Why are consumer groups upset about this if, they, if it would give them the versatility to use their phone on any network? Well, I think the consumer groups are having this fear of Google sort of taking over and being another, you know, another carrier here because there's a sort of feeling that Google's taking over. And what I think is more the issue is that Google is trying to devalue the, ca the carrier's networks out there because Google made all its money on the Internet, and the Internet is as, as open a network as you could possibly imagine. The carrier's network is as closed as you can imagine. You know, there are all these limitations as to how you can communicate on it, and the put little hooks in it to keep you there as much as possible. You know, the contract, the phone you have to buy, the chip on the phone, you know, whatnot. Um, I think there's sort of this generic fear that Google's putting its hand in too many spots. I think what ultimately is going to happen is Google, if they buy this spectrum, which they may not, if they buy it, they may actually give it to others to physically build out these wireless broadband internet networks. And ultimately, the more devices out there more people using browsers on devices, more people, that means more ads Google can sell. And that's the ultimate goal for them. Mm. So, in the end, money is the... Is the, is the oh, of course, with everything, it's is, money. Is the, is the bottom line. So, who, if Google is successful, is there anybody outside of Google that could profit from this? I mean, who well, would align themselves with the Google plan? Well, it's... Think of it this way. Google has uh, this municipal Wi-Fi network in Mountain View, and they're, they're going to be placing one here in San Francisco. And they're trying to prove that if you have this open network in this, uh, this community where you can work anywhere, then, you know, you and I could, you know, set up a business and we could create an application on a web browser and we don't need the intermediary of a Verizon or a Sprint. And that scares a Verizon or a Sprint. So the answer to your question is literally Everyone could benefit. And ultimately, what I think is going to happen is whether Google or not buys this or not, in these municipalities like Mountain View or, or San Francisco, they're going to try to prove their theory, which will hopefully scare the carriers. Will the FCC have any control over how, I mean, once the, the auction takes place, mm -hmm. uh, like the television stations that we know today, right. uh, there was an oversight, and you could go and petition the FCC if you were not getting the service you wanted. In, in this uh, world that you're talking about, where most young people like yourself depend uh, totally upon your cell phone for everything, mm -hmm. uh, what protections do you have? 
protections in what Terms Google sees or, or what the FC sees What the FC, what is it, how does the FCC see that they've carried out their duties by going this way? They've carried, well, first of all, they haven't opened it up as much as Google wanted. Uh -huh. and so that they haven't done. That, you know, Google has this vision, and it's not the same vision that the FCC has. <laughs> but the FCC believes that they have ultimately, uh, you know, done this great thing and all these wonderful things to happen because any application and any device can work on any network uh, given this very specific spectrum. And that is what is the most important to people who love their cell phone. <laughs> right now, yes, yes. The fact that if you love your cell phone a lot and you're on Verizon, you don't want to be there anymore and you want to be on Sprint, you can actually take your cell phone over. When do we get the end of this story? Oh, it's going to take a few years. This is not going to happen overnight. Okay, but thank you. Maybe more than that. <laughs> thank you so much, David.